know your IS code provisions short lecture series. In this short lecture, I'm going to explain about clause number 7.7.5.3, that is combination of modes. So this modal combination comes in two places, that is uh, time ST analysis and response spectrum analysis. So time ST analysis, to be specific, it is modal time ST analysis. So in modal time history analysis, what we do is we convert n degree of freedom system into n single degree of freedom systems. And finally, we get the response. So each mode vibrates uh, with a specific period or frequency and uh, mode shape will have at each that uh, degree of freedom level uh, a time series. So when we have to combine these uh, modes, since this uh, time series it, at any time instant, let's take say time P1. So any response quantity in different different modes occurs at a specific time instant. So algebraic sum of that uh, is done. Algebraic sum, that means addition is done by for different modes and to get the final response. But when it comes to uh, response spectrum analysis, these are maximum values. So they don't occur simultaneously. Hence, the combination of these modes requires some specific uh, rules or uh, guidelines. So that is what I'm going to discuss in this lecture. So let me share my screen. Yeah, <clears throat> clause number 7.7.5.3. So section seven is on buildings and 7.7, uh, that is on uh, uh, dynamic analysis. And in that, uh, that five, that is subsection five is on response spectrum analysis. And three is the combination of modes. That means 7.7.5.3. So what code says is these response quantities in section. Yeah, the responses of different modes considered shall be combined by using one of the two methods given below. So what are these uh, two methods? That is peak response quantities may be combined as per complete quadratic combination method as given below. So uh, what are these peak response quantities? It can be member forces, it can be displacement, and story forces, story flows, and base reaction. So these are the response quantities. So what formula says is, is lambda is the response quantity and uh, lambda i and lambda j are the responses quantities occurring in different modes. Okay, so lambda is equal to square root of, so double summation, that is i uh, starting from one to number of modes and also j starting from one to number of uh, modes. Lambda i is the response quantity in ionth mode. So rho i j, okay, and cross modal coefficient. And then uh, lambda j is the response quantity in mode j. So lambda response quantity in modes i and j, and uh, rho i j is cross modal correlation coefficient. So how do we get this cross modal correlation coefficient? By using this uh, uh, frequency ratio and uh, damping. So the value is uh, eight zeta square uh, in bracket one plus beta into beta to the power of 1.5 divided by one minus beta square plus four zeta square multiplied by beta and in bracket one plus beta in whole square. So this rho ij is cross modal correlation coefficient. So that is multiplied. So pre-multiplied and post-multiplied. So pre-multiplied with uh, all uh, like one mode uh, and then post multiply with all mode that is one summation and the double summation pre multiplication is also with all the modes. So this is response quantity. So this is complete quadratic uh, combination. Then alternatively, the peak response quantities may be combined as follows. What is that? In this, there are two conditions. Number one is if building does not have closely spaced modes, then net peak response that is response quantity that is lambda due to all modes considered shall be estimated as something like this. So lambda is equal to square root of, so k is again here mode number. So one to number of modes, lambda k whole square. So this is something like uh, square root of sum of squares. 
and uh, what is lambda k that is peak response quantity in more k so whatever that quantity may be it can be base reaction it can be story uh, shear force it can be displacement all they are combined in this form now here the term used as closely spaced modes what does this closely spaced mode mean the definition is the closely spaced modes of a structure are those of the natural modes of oscillation of a structure whose natural frequencies differ from each other by 10% or less of the lower frequency so something like say if uh, one frequency is say uh, 30 radians per second and other frequency is say 34 radians per second so that means what out of these two lowest one is 30 so 10% means it will be 33 so the mode is 34 that uh, the natural frequency of mode is 34 that means they are not closely spaced but instead of uh, that if one mode is uh, one modal uh, frequency is say 30 radians per second another modal frequency is say 32.5 radians per second then they are closely spaced modes now this condition uh, is the, the number one if building does not have closely spaced modes that means what if the mode shapes are the natural frequencies of modes are well spread apart then we can use this srss kind of thing but if they are occurring very close to each other so then in that case what it says is if the building has few closely spaced modes not all but few closely spaced modes then net peak response quantity that is lambda star due to these closely spaced modes alone shall be obtained as lambda star is equal to summation that is the absolute sum so we need to do absolute sum of only those modes suppose say there are say like uh, 50 modes are there and out of that uh, uh, we are considering only maybe 10 modes because 10 modes modal mass or combined modal mass is more than 90% uh, of the total mass then 10 up to 10 is fine in that say mode 5th mode 6th and mode 7 they are very closely spaced so these can be directly added that to absolute sum and then remaining all modes we need to do again the uh, earlier uh, method that is uh, square root of uh, sum of squares kind of thing the summation is for closely spaced modes only this one then this peak response quantity that lambda star due to closely spaced modes is combined with those of remaining well separated modes by method described above so this is the combination okay so if we add absolute uh, like uh, if the modes are occurring simultaneously then we can add them but uh, if the modes are separated well separated then it is square uh, square root of the sum of squares so this is done in response spectrum method when it comes to time history method they occur simultaneously and entire time series can be added to get the final response but in response spectrum method so we need to use either cqc method or the srss kind of uh, srss uh, method <clears throat> so intention of the short lecture is to help students and practicing engineers to understand is code uh, provisions in a better manner and the following references are used in the preparation of these uh, slides uh, and explanation and i sincerely acknowledge the help of my research scholars uh, in preparation of these slides thank you <clears throat>